think it's important uh, for us as doctors to to have some idea of you know little tools to help us to to guide us to healthy um, way of living can be useful and I suppose the one that I think is probably the most useful at the moment out there and readily available uh, in the area of well-being is the mind platter and this is the work of David Rock who's a business leader in the US and uh, Daniel Siegel who's a psychiatrist so these are the seven ingredients that will help you towards well-being the first we all know how important sleep is and certainly as young doctors we can be sleep deprived. The second thing that's really important for the brain is exercise. It's just as important for the brain as for the body. Thirdly, connecting time. We are, we're social animals. The brain is an incredibly social organ and we need to connect with our fellow human beings regularly. And that's very good for forging neural pathways in the brain and for, for promoting well-being. Fourthly, focus time. Now I guess that's not something that most doctors are short of. We, most of us spend at least some time in the day really focusing. But actually what this is about is really focusing unidimensionally on one thing, not trying to multitask or cover a few things at the same time, but really focus on one thing and getting into that zone of flow. That's very good for the brain. Time in is also important. Time in is that time when we reflect. Um, it can be done in a very formal way with mindfulness or meditation, but it can be done informally as well, where we're open to uh, you know, looking at ourselves and, and our inner selves, being in touch with our feelings, our sensations, and getting comfortable with that. Downtime is also very important. Downtime is just hanging out, doing absolutely nothing, not, you know, not focusing on any task or process, just really doing nothing. Playtime is the seventh ingredient of the healthy mind platter. Playtime, you know, as children, we know the joy of playing as children. We spend an awful lot of time as children playing and that whoopee, that wonderful delight of play. I'm not talking about the exercise side of it, I'm talking about the fun, the laughter, the joy, the humor of it. Um, so it doesn't have to be physical, but just playtime. And that's really important and getting a little bit of that every day. So a bit of a sense of humour is always very helpful in promoting well-being. So those are your seven ingredients and I think if you can have a bit of those every day or almost every day, you'll certainly enjoy greater well-being.